Hey everybody, Nick here. Um, just read a book that I wanted to throw out there on Sales Dogs by um, Blair Singer. Um, just wanted to give a quick review. Um, this is actually kind of a, a supplement to a, a Squidoo page that I made, so um, I'll be linking that page with this, so that might be how you're watching this video right now, or you might just be watching the video, um, but you can check out um, the Squidoo page as well. But um, just want to just throw out some of the stuff that I found was really, really awesome about this book because he, he does a great job at um, pointing out different breeds of sale do sales dogs. Most of the time when we think of a salesperson, we think of someone who's just going after and, you know, sell, 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 buy this thing, buy this thing, you're going to love it. And really, he says that's really one breed of sales dogs, that kind of aggressive uh, person, that kind of go-getter that he calls more of the pit bull. But then there are other breeds of sales dogs that he points out that are just as just as important. They have their own strengths. And um, his point is that you really shouldn't try to fit anyone into one particular breed, but rather the best sales dogs, the super mutts is what he calls them, take bits and pieces from every different kind of breed and really benefit from them. And I don't want to rehash the book or anything like that. In fact, you need to go and buy the book. I don't want to you know, do any plagiarism or anything like that. But I just really wanted to kind of talk about how, how great I thought this book was, um, how it um, beneficial it was, especially as I'm just kind of getting out into, you know, learning a little bit more about internet marketing specifically and network marketing, which is something that he really uh, points out as really, really great network marketing. He, he really likes that because it helps develop those sales skills in a slow way. So you don't have to, um, you know, it's not a case where you lose your job if you're not a good salesperson. People, they will work with you, develop you, and give you good training programs. So you have to, you have to pick a good one, obviously. And, um, you know, that there's, there's a lot to be said, said for that. Um, and especially with my philosophy of trying to blend the internet marketing with network marketing so you're not having to go out and, you know, pitch to just your friends and your relatives and, you know, have those really awkward conversations and trying to pitch waiters and waitresses and all that stuff. So, what I really liked about his book is um, it's the exact kind of selling that I, uh, I personally like because um, it is focused on the other person. You know, yes, you need the, the pit bull-esque uh, or the pit bull type of aggressive tenacity sometimes. You know, he said that you, the, that tenacity is, is what can make things happen in a cold market if nothing's happening. But you also have to have, for instance, you know, a golden retriever and, and their loyal capabilities, their customer service oriented. Um, the, the poodle that is focused on, you know, kind of conscious, uh, con that is conscious of their image, that is image conscious. Um, then there's like the basset hound that kind of plays your sympathy. And, um, and then the chihuahua that's really hyper and really likes data and everything. Um, I said I wasn't going to go and, and list the breeds, but I guess I just kind of threw, threw those out there anyway. The point of that is that you're focused on the person. You're focused on the prospect. That you're focused on them and you hear their needs. He actually gave a story about this group of people who they were trying to sell this one person. And this person was talking. They were on speakerphone. And, and, and the, after they were starting sales, uh, the person on speakerphone was kind of expressing some of their you know, difficulties, their questions and everything like that. Sales, sales people put them on mute and just kind of went everywhere to get all this information and over, doing all this stuff to overcome objections, but they never listened to what the person had to say. And he said it's crucial that you listen to what's on their heart and you connect with that, that you show you understand that, you show you resonate with that. Um, he has an absolutely phenomenal chapter in there about um, dealing with your own emotions and also about um, having these these traits um, that, that, that are success, the, the, these traits that build success in there. And um, one of them is, one of the things that he talks about, the first thing that I mentioned was that you manage your emotions, that you can't let your emotions and the fear of rejection get in your way. But the other thing that he was talking about, he gives four things that are really, really key to a successful sales dog. And uh, the first one is that you face the challenge, that you don't shrink back from a challenge, but that you face that challenge. Even if you make mistakes in the very, very beginning, that you face that challenge and push through that. Um, that you trap negative dialogue, that you don't allow those negative thoughts to go in your head and, you know, 
one failure means that you are a failure or one person doesn't like you so everybody likes you. You kind of get in that generalistic type of thing and, you know, nothing works out and you, we all kind of do that. And he said, you got to trap that kind of stuff. And you say, no, it's just one event and you've got to place it external. You know, it might be that they had a bad day or it might be that my sales present, it might be that uh, the sales presentation just didn't hit them on the, uh, in the way that it needed to, or maybe they just didn't want the product. You can't internalize uh, rejection. You have to externalize it and just say, you know, it was just these external situations and some things I might be able to change, some things I won't, but don't internalize it and say it's, it's an affront or an attack or a rejection of you. Um, the third thing is celebrate all wins, even the small ones. You know, you can't just be, uh, you can't just be focused on, you know, the big wins. You've got to celebrate every win along the way because that gives you momentum to keep going. And once you have a win, don't coast on that win. He said when you're, you know, and he, he encouraged managers as well, that when a person underneath you or, you know, when you yourself are on a good winning streak, you know, you win one or two times, don't just stop and coast. Keep going. Play while you're hot. Keep going. Go at it and get as much out of that, you know, out of that stretch while you're feeling feeling good and feeling motivated while you win. And then, you know, if you're in kind of a cold spell, you know, try to find little victories that you can have to kind of get you out of that rut. Um, and then the uh, third thing is to protect, uh, project the power of uh, personal intention, meaning that you're projecting this, uh, this, this image of confidence of this is what I'm going to do. I'm committed to making this kind of thing happen. That intention is a good thing, that you're intending uh, not just, well, I intend to do a good thing, but you're making it your intention, your desire, your, your, your full-fledged desire. Something in network marketing is, you know, you ha it's all about the whys. You have to get to why you want what you want and why you want to go where, what you wanna, where you want to go. And it's got to be deep and personal. You have to have a, a very personal intention and a very strong intention of what you want to have happen and focus on those types of things rather than focusing on what you don't want to have happen. If you're focused on what you don't want, people are going to reject me, I'm going to fail, then you kind of align yourself into that way of being. But if you intend and focus on what you want and what you want to have happen, you, you are projecting a lot more of a positive um, demeanor and, and, a, and a lot of more of a, a positive type of atmosphere, and, uh, and that works out to your benefit. So there's a lot more in there. You know, obviously I can't read the whole book, but um, it's, a, it's a great book for learning how to sell. It's a great book for learning you know, where you are in the different breeds, as he calls them, but also what some positive characteristics of other people, other types of breeds, you can adapt and make your own and personalize because you know, you, it's going to be personal. Um, but to, to make that your own and to really benefit from all those things. So it's a great book, and I hope you pick it up. Take care.